Okay, okay, we're up to question seven now on the January uh, 2009 BY1 paper. Uh, this is a cell division question, okay, and uh, the examiner here has drawn a three dimensional view of a cell, okay. Uh, he has stated it's an animal cell, okay. Um, let me annotate a few important points here. Um, the top bit here and the bottom bit are actually the equators, sorry, the poles of the cell. Uh, in the middle, uh, you have the equator there, okay. Uh, so the chromosomes appear to be um, sort of sitting on the equator region of this cell. Um, so the stage um, of uh, cell division here is going to be a metaphase. Right, so... Uh, Moving on then, part two, um, name the structure labelled A. Okay, so the examiner has got an arrow um, very accurately pointing to that spherical region of the chromosome. Okay, so the answer there is, is not the chromosome because the arrow isn't pointing to the chromosome. It's pointing to a particular part of the chromosome. Um, and that, uh, that structure there, of course, is the centromeres. This is where the two sister chromatids uh, actually join. Okay, then, so there's the centromere uh, written in. Uh, part three, uh, state the function of structure labelled B. Okay, so um, the, the structures there actually span from pole to pole. Um, the uh, centromeres are actually attached to them. Okay, so they're going to be the uh, spindle fibers. All right, so uh, the function of those spindle fibers um, is to actually uh, shorten or contract. And when they do, they actually pull the sister chromatids to opposite poles. Okay, uh, they don't pull the chromosomes to the opposite poles, it's the sister chromatids. Okay, it's quite an important uh, distinction to remember there. Right, um, okay, that's question uh, A3 done. Um, three hopefully easy marks. Um, again, there's nothing really technical about this question. Um, you know that you have to be able to recognise the stages of mitosis uh, from drawings as well as microscope images. Okay, so as long as you've done your revision well, um, and has studied uh, these diagrams, you shouldn't have too much problem with that. Right, part B, uh, dividing cells undergo a regular um, pattern of events known as the cell cycle. The following statements describe some of the main events taking place in animal cells. Insert the name of the appropriate stage in the box opposite each uh, statement. Right, so chromosomes shorten and thicken and spindle uh, forms. Okay, so uh, this is really the first uh, stage of uh, metaphase, really, um, where these uh, events occur. Um, so that would be a prophase, okay, where uh, the chromatin really shortens, becomes thicker, the chromosomes become visible, and you get the start of the formation of the uh, spindle fibres. Uh, so that would be prophase. I'll write that in in a moment. Next, a period of intense activity, uh, which includes the replication of DNA. Uh, that's going to be interphase. Uh, this is the period where a tremendous amount of activity takes place to prepare the cell to undergo mitosis. Okay, uh, Replication of DNA is only one of many um, activities that occur during interphase. Uh, remember, you need to be able to quote at least four, maybe even five uh, things that occur during interphase. Um, okay. Right, finally then, uh, the formation of two uh, nuclei. Okay. Uh, that occurs in the last uh, stage of mitosis, which is telophase. Remember, telophase results in the formation of two cells. Um, the cells or the cell actually divides into two by a process known as cytokinesis, okay? But the stage uh, is actually a telophase. 
Right, so I've written the uh, the answers in for that uh, question, and that was another uh, three marks. Um, so we've got a final uh, question here now where we have a comparison table. Uh, we need to uh, show three differences between meiosis and uh, mitosis. Okay, um, so it's only worth three marks, so it's actually a, a, a mark per uh, row. So you have to have um, correct differences shown together. Okay, um, so in meiosis then, one, one feature of meiosis is that it produces four daughter cells. Um, mitosis only produces two daughter cells. Okay, so that means you have to have those two statements in the same row. All right, if you don't have them together, uh, you won't actually get the marks. Okay, another feature of meiosis is uh, it actually undergoes uh, two divisions. Uh, if you remember from my notes, you've got uh, meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. Uh, but uh, mitosis, there's just one division occurring. Okay, and lastly then, um, uh, an important uh, difference here is that the daughter cells produced during meiosis are genetically different. Okay, always remember to say they're genetically different. Um, don't just say they're different. That won't get you any, any mark at all. Uh, so genetically different daughter cells produced in meiosis. And with mitosis, the actual daughter cells um, show no genetic variation. They're actually identical in terms of uh, their DNA. Okay. There we go then. So that's... Uh, completed uh, question seven it was worth a total of nine marks again if you have revised your work um, this shouldn't have been um, a demanding question for you um, you need to thoroughly revise uh, your notes of course as I keep on uh, saying um, so let's have a quick look at the the mark scheme uh, for that and uh, there may be some uh, additional marking points that I haven't mentioned but there's part A and B okay nothing uh, unusual there and part C uh, there are uh, a few uh, additional differences listed in the mark scheme that you could have uh, uh, put in uh, particularly there where um, talking about the number of chromosomes of course in meiosis you uh, halve the number of chromosomes but in mitosis the chromosome number remains the same okay uh, you could have talked about crossing over okay and then about uh, homologous chromosomes uh, remember that during prophase one homologous chromosomes come together that allows this crossing over event to occur okay so you could have had uh, three three different uh, answers for uh, part c okay that's question seven finished